We are back, everyone, with what's sold on eBay for <laughs> Monday. Linda's pretending like she's a Sith Lord with her hoodie on. The things that happen before the video starts, super awkward. Anyways, uh, really good sales day today. I think 17 sales or how many? Nice. Um, how much was the total? Just over 575. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. Anything else you want to say before we get started? I love you too. Anyways, first item. First item is this jersey for uh, football. Um, I don't know. No, Charlie no. Dorados de Sinaloa. Represent. Yeah, that's a large and it sold for $25 shipped. I think it was the four bucks at a state sale. So pretty there cool, pretty cool. Then we have one of well, Cameron's dolls. <clears throat> he didn't want to get rid of them, which is why they haven't sold. And they're all just sitting right above us right here, just collecting dust. But this is Raquel. Rochelle. And Raquel sold for sixty dollars. She got ten bucks into each of these. I have a bunch of these rakes, bears, and dolls. We've talked about them before. The worst buy. We're almost in the probably profit. in the history of buys. No, there's some people on YouTube who've made worst buys, but why one of my worst buy, worst buys because the rakes, bears have not sold. We sold two dolls so far. One Put for hundred. Put your worst buy in the comments yeah, below. One for sixty. I would love to sell all these dumb circus bears. Want to buy a bear? We'll sell yeah. you a bear. Tell me what if you can. Yeah. You just pay shipping. Just take it. No, you can give me my ten bucks back in the shipping, and you can have it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So that's out of here. What's next? Next up, we have James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing for Xbox, and that sold for six dollars and ninety nine cents. Not much there, but it's on its way out. And then we got a three pack of Wooster Pro nylon brushes, um, and those sold for twenty four shipped. Hopefully, they stay sold. I lost one of the slip covers from. So. Yeah. But they're still new, so hopefully they'll be cool. Stick them in the heavy toolbox. That's a good idea. Next up, we have this five pack of Branford Marsalis CDs. I don't know who that is. A jazz artist, I believe. There we go. And those sold for sixteen dollars shipped. Then we have a cassette Vicente. Or maybe it's Vicente. Vicente. I think it's Vicente Fernandez. He's pretty famous. I know that. Yeah, and his cassette sold for twelve dollars shipped. Then we have this cool Jack Lynx Beef Jerky Squatch Hand Mug. It is, is pretty cool. a 10 inch mug. Plastic? Plastic. And it's got maybe, the cool I think it was like a display or something, maybe. Like maybe you had all like the. Oh, like the. Beef stick jerkies jer coming out of it? Stick something? jerkies, yeah. I don't know, maybe it could be that. But it sold for $30 shipped. I know it was three bucks at a garage, so we've had it for the longest time, but I'm He's super moved happy. with this. I had it like 50 bucks and there was like none listed at the time. So to take 30 just to get rid of it, it'll probably cost 10 bucks to ship it. I'm happy to see it go. Hopefully it goes to a good home. Yeah. Then we got these cute little stickers, these vintage Valentine's Day stickers. Um, and those sold for $15 shipped. Now that's from the sticker buy. We spent 10 bucks and we sold a ton of, we sold one for like what, three, three or 400 or so. I don't remember, $500 in stickers plus a bunch of other little things. So that was a really, really good deal. Oh, there was an extra sticker on there. Anyways. Then we got this cool tailor-made RBZ Black um, 3. It's a hybrid 19th degree regular right-handed graphite shaft. Sounds like she's trying to speak a different language. So <laughs> 3 19 degree. I'm sorry. I didn't work at a golf course for pennies and learn everything I needed I to know about I didn't work there for pennies. That would be illegal. Golf clubs. And secondly... Had uh, something better to do. No, you worked at the UPS store for pennies. No, at that time I was probably still in high school, honey. Anyways. And that one is one that we picked up with Kylie as well. And that sold for $90 shipped. And that was 20 bucks, I remember. 20 bucks. Then we got this cool Wonder Woman book. Who is Wonder Woman? And that sold for almost $12 shipped. That was a dollar. Dollar. Then we got Thelonious Monk at Another the Black Hawk CD. CD. And that one sold for $20 and some change. Someone offered me 15 I counted it at 17 and they said no. And then someone paid full price. So I love when that happens. Love, love it, love it, love it. Then we got this cool carry Pink uh, sleeveless hoodie from Kingdom Hearts 3. It's like a costume, basically. And that sold for $34 shipped. And that was 3 bucks, I think. And that one only sold within about a month. So that was a good one. I don't know if they're getting it for Halloween or not, but... 
Might be a little so. late. Yeah, I don't know if it'll make it. Then we got this 2008 Lego Batman Joker uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toy. So it is still sealed and everything. And it's a little figure of Joker, and it sold for eight dollars shipped. With the uh, just to go over this with the McDonald's toys, I'm not saying go out and spend a bunch of money on McDonald's. Obviously, it sold for nine dollars. Usually, if I'm selling these, they were in a big bundle of toys I bought for eight dollars. It's in a big bundle of toys, and if it looks like some of them sell, I'll sell. If you have a complete set, sometimes they sell too, but don't go crazy on the McDonald's stuff. You're not going to get rich on it. Then we have a cool little Nintendo DS game, just the game, the cartridge, and it sold for $12 some change. This is New Super Mario Bros. Sells all the time. Such a good seller. Yep. And we have these seven for all mankind uh, pants for men. These are just a basic $32.31, and they sold for $28 shipped. Those were, I think, five bucks. Then we have this Polaroid in the box, one step close up camera. And this sold for $32 shipped. Shout out to Retrospect. They reached out to me today. They did not buy this one, but they reached out to me to say they would give me $25 for it. I have a couple other Polaroids listed. I said, hey, if you want to do the other ones at a discounted price, I'll sell you them all. But they didn't want those ones, so they wouldn't do. I wouldn't do this deal for $25. And then someone bought the full price. So another item Shout where I got to love when the full price sale. But Retrospect was awesome. Those who remember, Retrospect was just a great a great person to buy because they bought all those cameras so quick for whatever price it was 28 bucks or whatever every time it was awesome yeah. then we have this uh book uh book lot three of the complete ink cart trilogy books and they sold for 29 dollars and those were i think 450 those are from the library sale so 450 or something like that five bucks i spent on them and they'll go out medium mail and then we got this cool um plow die cast scale model and this uh, Cameron has had for literally ever, and it sold for forty-five dollars. It was from Savers. I want to say it was ten or eleven bucks. Plus we got a discount, but it finally sold for forty-five. Yeah. That one's been here a minute. Yeah. But hey, the Jack Links and that were both something that had been listed a while, and they sold. So happy to see them go. Awesome. And then a camera. Our last sale tonight. We still got a couple hours, so we'll see. This is a Fujifilm Fine Pix digital camera. It is tested, and Cameron took a picture of the screen working and everything. Um, so that sold for thirty-six dollars shipped. I think I spent five on that too. So some of those old cameras can be worth some money. Don't go crazy though. Look up the model numbers; they're pretty easy to look up. Pretty, pretty good day though. Good mix of stuff. Happy to see that doll go. I know Linda is too. Hopefully the rest will sell, and then we'll make some room up there for other stuff. The bears, the dolls might sell. I get offers on the dolls all the time. The bears, no one wants the bears. It's just, they, no, who would want a weird looking crazy circus bear? Unless they're making some kind of creepy Halloween thing. Like a haunted circus, maybe. Anyways, that's what we got right now. Uh, Linda will be back if anything else sells today. There's a couple hours left. And then we'll both be back tomorrow with what sells Tuesday. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Hey everybody, we are back with what's sold on eBay for Tuesday. Continuing the video here. Babe, how are you? Tired. She's good. tired and doing very well. Thanks for asking, guys. Doing good. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into it and go over what sold today. How many sales did we have? <laughs> today we had 11 sales for just about, just under 245 Pretty good, pretty good. So... Let's go ahead then and discuss what the first item is. We're going to discuss it. So it is a hardcover book to start. It has a picture of Brooke Shields on it. It's a 1985 first edition. And it is titled On Your Own. It is a... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it sold for $13. There's and so much change. of that we can take. <laughs> that was from one of the big books, by So they finally paid it. Sold on Sunday, I think. And this sold as well. This is that Andrew Congliano Anaheim Ducks jersey. Yep. Um, and it is by Reebok. And it sold for $50. And it is a size 52. I think it was 5 bucks. Yeah, I think I'm 52 sure is, is that just double XL, I think? Or I don't know. I don't remember. Who knows? So, happy to see it go, though. Duck stuff always sells. Especially the old Ducks jerseys. They sell really well. Then we got a Greg Reference handbook. Or manual, sorry. And this one sold for 18 and some change. We have like one or two more Greg manuals left. We've done very well on those uh, from the paintball book buy. This is an Apple Mac 13-inch box. We only. love Apple products here, by the way. No, we don't. 
No, I'm not allowed to like Apple products, just so the record shows. I've been informed that um, once I became married, I was no longer allowed to use Apple products, even though I still have an iPod. Anyways, Anyways, that sold for... That box sold for $19.94. Great year. Yeah, rough year. The year I was born. Oh, my favorite year. Yeah. <sighs> Next up, we have a North Face jacket. It's a men's um, extra large. And it does have some stains on it and a little it's bit of damage. So, But it still sold for $25. Shit. It's a nice jacket this kind of is but it's just had too much wear so i listed it pretty cheap no offers and it finally sold so someone who wants doesn't mind you know dirty or already has stains it's cool but not something i usually would pick up it just came in a big bundle i had and what are you looking at it's those, were. those games yeah those are for you to count the pieces why are they over here they were up here but i moved them down so the inventory just put them inside yes master Anyways, this is an NHL Hits 2003 for Xbox. And... You used to play that game, didn't you? Yeah. James and I used to Not play on Xbox. No, on GameCube? Uh, GameCube. Yeah. So this sold for $14 ships. Cool, cool, cool. 14 bucks and another little book item going out. Or this is a Grammy program. Awards um, program kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so 2011. Somebody bought that for $10 and some change. Why someone would go back and buy that, I have no idea, but they did. We sold another. This is another Scentsy Buddy. This is Alma the Alpaca. Smells very wonderful. Oh, it's like a vanilla, huh? Yeah. Mm, it's like a fruity vanilla, though. Yeah. Hmm. Here we are just sniffing this stuff down like a bunch of crackheads. <laughs> and Alma sold for $20 shipped. 20 bucks. So that wasn't the big Scentsy Buy. We have, we've sold a lot of them, but not for probably not much more than 25 bucks. So. Yeah, that's a pretty big one. Yeah, but it should still go out for, I think, under a pound. Hopefully. Hopefully. Next up, we have Marvel's Fantastic Four. This is Mr. Fantastic, Looks and he wonderful. sold for tw ten and a half shipped. From the death pile. Oh, he is. He does have rubber arms. Of course. <laughs> and it's that time of the year. Here we go. Christmas item. This is a vintage Christmas polar bear stuffed animal stocking. He's adorable. Stocky. He really is. It's very clean, too. Yeah, it Which is. is surprising. Yep. You would think a white stocking like this was gonna be like a dusty or dirty or candy wrapper or candy like stains on it. Who knows? <laughs> but it's, it's pretty good. It's probably one that mom was like, "I bought this and they're going up and nobody could touch them." We don't put the real. We don't use we don't them for the reals. Real, yeah, they're decoration, decoration only. And that sold for twenty five dollars and some change. Usually with the stockings, they don't sell that often. But some of the ones with the big plush you know animals on there will sell a themed one so you can get them for cheap it might be worth it then we have a washington super bowl champs uh super bowl the what 22 yep looks like 22 for the red skins right here and that sold for 20 dollars shipped and this one they're now the washington football team so some redskin stuff does end up still selling this one's not even that it just says the spell out on it it doesn't even have like the logo or anything but we'll take the 20 dollar offer on an old hat Probably spent 50 cents. And we have some time left. We think we're waiting on a couple payments maybe. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And um, Linda will be back if anything else sells. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.